Hey, it's Brigazar. It's time to look at another vintage Lego set. We got one from 1973. Yes, 42 years ago as I'm filming this in 2015. But this is a piano. And it's basically what it says. A piano. You got a bookshelf and a bench. And it is pretty much common pieces. So you could really make this today. Now some of the, the vintage pieces, they're not made in this style anymore, but Basically, uh, yeah, it's all common pieces, which is pretty cool. Now, it has 90 pieces and some stickers. So that's probably what makes it unique is the stickers on the bench. You have these, looks like food items, but that's supposed to be like some kind of cushion, I guess, on the bench. <laughs> bench is there, so you got those are on those tiles. And then, of course, the music sheet on the piano. And then these are all tiles there and tiles and these are all the tiles that don't have the groove so they're hard to um, take apart with <laughs> even with a brick separator and this is just a lamp it's just kind of free floating there uh, and that's actually the the two by two red brick is actually a modern one i don't have the the vintage one there and you can just as a quick reminder a quick way of knowing if you got a vintage piece or non-vintage uh, not necessarily pinpointing the exact year but on the side of these bricks there's a little mark I don't know if it's showing up on the camera or not but um that lets you know <laughs> that the sprue or the um where they held the brick when they were molding it was on the side and today that it's done on the stud so that's you always know you got a an older brick if it's got that on the side because they haven't done that in a long long time so anyway let's show you the instructions because um, I mean, basically it's just some bricks and plates and tiles to build it and you um, yeah it's pretty simple to build actually you probably could build it just by looking at what you got here and then those are all tiles there I'm going to show you the instructions because I like the old instructions. Even though this is small, it does show you, you know, there's how you build it, but it shows you other sets from the time. And we're going to look at some more of these eventually. Now, these aren't pictures, they're basically like the instructions would look, but you got the kitchen table, the bureau, another one, kids' room there, and then the baby crib, the desk, and then here's some of the larger sets. These were the homemaker styles, and of course these these were for girls, but that doesn't matter. So that is the piano, a vintage Lego set. Oh, I guess I should show you what it looks like compared to minifigures. And if you want to, oh, knock that over. Um, a fall man made a piano. Uh, it was inspired by him getting the LeBron James figure. And he reenacted the scene where we smashed the LeBron James set. And his piano actually, I think, looks better than this one. I'll put a link to that. But here's a Kobe Bryant. And that's how you do it. That's how we do the piano smash. Oh, sorry, Kobe. Nothing personal. So you can just take a random figure. And you can just smash it like that. And one, <clears throat> one thing I don't like, as I sound like Mr. Haney again, uh, the, the bookshelf is always, it's hard to keep these books organized. Um, anyway, they're always falling off there. But that is the piano, again, not minifigure scale, 1973, long before the minifigure. But um, still a cool little set. I think I like it. I hope you like it. Like the video. Check out our other vintage reviews. We will eventually make a homemaker playlist for all these types of, of sets. And we'll be doing more. So, catch you in the next video. Spriggs are.